So today we'll be starting off with this really cool Python project. It's the very first project on Code Academy. It's called Block Letters, and oh, whoops. And basically, we're starting off with Python because the syntax is easy, and I think it's the best way to begin to start learning, at least in my opinion. And this is the very first project, so it is going to be very simple, um, and it will just utilize using uh, it'll just utilize print statements. Uh, just for a disclaimer, though, I am just a student in university, therefore I'm not saying that everything I say is correct. However, it is what gets the end result to be correct. Uh, there could be better ways to do things throughout the series, but for now, um, we'll stick with this. So this is a project that Codecademy has. Uh, it's called Block Letters, and so it looks like all we have to do is get these certain outputs. So what we have over here is we have to try to create the shape of these letters using the letters themselves. So for example, we have to create the shape of an S using the letter S, and then we have to create a shape of an L using the letter L. And since the purpose of this project is just to use print statements, all it's asking us to do is learn how to print. And just, just for reference, actually, by the way, when we print something within quotations, whatever I type in here, it will show up on the console on the right side. So run, and we can see it is the exact same thing. So if I want to do like hello world, then it, it, hello world will show up. So is that's what this project, in my opinion, is trying to teach us. So we'll do it that way. Keep in mind we have seven lines over here because this is a five by seven, or well, this is seven by five, as in um, vertically we have seven units. And because each print statement goes down one line, so for example, we can see that each print statement, there's a new line uh, and they're not on the same line. We know that seven different print statements will equate to seven different lines and thereby, thereby creating seven different units of uh, whatever measurement they use. So because there's print statements, I'm not actually in the mood to like manually go about things. So I'm just gonna copy and paste each line over here into the print statement. And this works because whatever I put within these quotations will also print on the console on the right side over here. I'm just going to quickly go over this. And that includes the spaces, by the way. These spaces will also um, do, will also be shown in the console. And we see we have replicated the exact output SL, and we've replicated it in the console as well. I hope you can see how we've done that. If you don't, please comment below, and I'll definitely help you out over there. So next we're setting up. We're going to first write two comments with your first and last name and a fun fact about yourself. I'm not really in the mood to give my first and last name, so we'll just put endless coding and then We'll put my a fun fact about myself. I run a YouTube, YouTube channel. And if you don't know what comments are, basically comments, um, the program doesn't run whatever text is within a comment. And we can in Python we can make a comment by using like hashtags. Comments are very useful for documentation of code. Uh, basically, what a specific line of code does, we can uh, tell whoever's reading it. Because a lot of the times it's not just going to be you reading the code. Other people will as well, and for them to understand it, it may help to comment on it. So if we run it, we can see we get known errors over here, but if I try to put endless coding without a comment, we're going to get a name error over here, uh, and that's because it's not defined, uh, and we, the, we don't know what we're running over here, and we haven't used an actual command. Uh, anyways, we, we've done step two, which we wrote two comments with uh, our name, which is, I'm going to put endless coding because it's the channel, and then a fun fact, I run a YouTube channel, uh, obviously, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, most likely you know I run a YouTube channel. I'll put your first initial as a block letter. There are a few ways to do this. So we're going to start with the letter E because that's the first initial of E and then as a block letter. Uh, by their definition of block letter, it's uh, creating the letter using letters up. So again, if I wanted to create the letter S, I would use the letter S to create the letter S with the overall shape of a 7 by 5 um, dimension letter. Anyways, the point is, so prints. Uh, we're going to follow this diagram right here. So we're going to first row, we're going to do five E's. In the second row, as you can see here, on here, we're just going to do one E and so on and so forth. And then the next line on line four is three E's. And then from there, it's just one E. And then finally, for the last one, it's going to be five E's. If we run it, we can see we've created the letter E successfully. So there is that. Does that look correct though? It is correct. Okay, it looks a bit odd to me. I would put your second initial as a block letter by adding to the print statements. Okay, easy enough. So let's put a space and then we'll start with the C's. 
So then in this C right here on the first line, we have, I put a space to indicate we're on a different letter, but then there's another space over here um, because at the first line over here, uh, we start with a space and then three Cs and another space. Next line, we'll add a space to indicate a different letter and then we'll add a C, one, two, three, C. Yeah, that's a mistake. And then from here we see we just add a bunch of C's, next few lines. Uh, this is a C over here. And then on this line right here, right, hopefully that does not look correct at all. What do we do? Let's see over here. Uh, I see, we have to actually line it up. So we'll just make sure to line things up over here. So as you can see, I still made the mistake, even though this is probably the simplest project in Code Academy, um, I'm still prone to making a bunch of mistakes. And this looks quite a bit better. We see we've made E and C, which is what we've wanted. Don't forget to check off all the tasks for moving on, sample solutions. Um, there you go. I'm not really in the mood to go through all that. I don't know what sample solutions are. This is correct. We have successfully created the graphic design of um, our initials, which is E and C. And as you can see, it's done, to, uh, done on the console. It's outputted over here. But similarly, we're able to do that and it's actually displayed because of the print statements, which was the point of this lesson, in my opinion. Um, it also shows that whatever's within the quotation is really printed. So hopefully you can see how that works. If you get stuck or have any questions, please comment below. And um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and subscribe and make sure to keep up to date with the rest of the videos. Bye.